Item number two, hearing on, on extension of temporary suspension for mixed martial artist Khalil Rabtree for possible action. Councilor. Thank you, Chairman, uh, Commissioners. Good morning, Matthew Feely, Deputy Attorney General for the record and on behalf of Director Mullen. Regarding agenda item, new business number two, in connection with the May 14th, 2024, out of competition year analysis, uh, the results of which reflected the presence of 5A androstanidol, 5B androstanidol, and androsterone of an exogenous origin. Are pro uh, they are prohibited S1 anabolic agents and pursuance, and based on the results and pursuance to NRS 467.117, Director Mullen temporarily suspended his license on June 26, 2024, and is now respectfully requesting that this suspension be continued pending resolution of a formal disciplinary action. A complaint for this matter was filed on July 25th. Uh, proper notice of this present hearing was provided pursuant to NRS 233B.121, with a registered letter being mailed to the address he provided to the commission. As such, I request that this suspension be continued pending the resolution of this matter, and with that, I submit for your consideration. Thank you. Any questions for counsel? Chair would entertain a motion to extend the, uh, the temporary suspension as outlined by council. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That's uh, unanimously. Thank you. Item number three, hearing on the extension of temporary suspension from their martial artist Justin Michael James for possible action. Council. Yes, sir. Thank you again, Chairman. Uh, Matthew Feely, Deputy Attorney General, for the record, and on behalf of Director Mullen. Regarding agenda item, new business number three, in connection with the May 24th, 2024 contest held in Las Vegas, Nevada, the respondents submitted to an in-competition year analysis, the results of which reflected the presence of ferrocemide, an S5 diuretic and masking agent, pursuant to the water prohibitive list. Based on the results, and pursuant to NRS 467.117, Director Mullen temporarily suspended his license on July 10th, 2024, and is now respectfully requesting that this suspension be continued pending resolution of a formal disciplinary action. A complaint for this matter will be filed shortly. Proper notice of this present hearing was provided pursuant to NRS 233B.121 with a registered letter being mailed to the address he provided to the commission. As such, I request that this suspension be continued pending resolution of this matter, and with that, I submit for your consideration. Thank you. Questions for counsel? Chair would entertain a motion to approve the temporary suspension as outlined by council. Item number three, new business. So moved. Second. Thank you, moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Mm -hmm. So ordered. Passes unanimously, thank you. Item number four, hearing on withholding of purse for mixed martial artist Myra Bueno Silva for possible action. Council. Yes, sir. Um, Matthew Feely, Deputy Attorney General, for the record and on behalf of Director Mullen. The matter before you now is a hearing on the withholding of purse for mixed martial artist Myra Bueno Silva. Silva competed in the MMA contest on June 29, 2024. Her purse for that contest was $100,000. After her match, Silva jumped onto and over the octagon fence despite having previously received instructions not to. Pursuant to NRS 467.135 and NAC 467.147, a portion of respondent's purse was withheld from her. Specifically, $2,500 of the purse was withheld. Notice of today's hearing was served on respondent on July 5th, 2024. A complaint was filed on July 29th, 2024, with the hearing date set for August 27th, 2024, at the next commission meeting. Um, I've already spoken to Ms. Silva, fully expected there will be an adjudication agreement to present. And <clears throat> NRS 467.135 states of the commission, or its executive director may order the promoter to withhold any part of a purse if in their judgment the contestant violates any regulations adopted by the commission or any of the provisions of this chapter. In this case, Silva's act of jumping the octagon fence is alleged to be such a violation, and as such, a portion was withheld from the respondent's purse. Um, I ask here today simply that the commission uh, uphold that decision to withhold the purse and to continue that withholding until the resolution of the uh, disciplinary proceedings. With that, I submit. Any questions? No. I think we all remember this fight where the, you know, the doctor stopped it with the nasty cut. I think we all remember this. It was unfortunate. Any questions? 
Chairman, entertain a motion to approve item number four as outlined with the extension for Mara Gwynn and Silva. So moved. A second. Moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed? So ordered. Passes unanimously. Thank you.